Welcome back to another Madden video in which today we'll be having a clash of conference between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings. And the Minnesota Vikings have not had the best start as I'm filming. They are 0-3, but they are a very talented team and can possibly change and turn it around. And the Kansas City Chiefs are 2-1 as I record this. And they seem to be in form and are flying through the ranks of the AFC and the AFC West division. So let's take a look at who will prevail in this matchup between Patrick Mahomes and Kirk Cousins. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game and by what score. Let's take a look. Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota offense will get the ball to start off. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year as he had 424 out of 643 attempts, 45, 47 yards, 29 touchdowns, 2, 14 interceptions. It is now 3rd and 9 for the Vikings and Kirk Cousin has all the time in the pocket and finds a soft spot in the zone coverage and gets it to the rookie number 3, Jordan Addison from USC. Let's take a look at this replay as Kirk Cousins had so much time in the pocket to be able to find the open man. And here on first and 10, it is going to be a play action pass and the pressure quickly gets to Kirk Cousins before he had any time to react and try to throw the ball and he is sacked by the second year man George Karloftis. It is now third and 17 for the Vikings and Kirk Cousins has a lot of time in the pocket and dumps it out to the flat to number two, Alexander Madison. And this will bring up a fourth and 10 in which the Minnesota Vikings will have to punt to Patrick Mahomes. Here we have Patrick Mahomes getting ready to take the offense and to try and win the game. Let's take a look at his stats from last year. 435 out of 648 attempts, 52, 50 yards, 42 touchdowns. 12 interceptions let's see what he can do here and here on first and 10 Patrick Mahomes rolls to his left felt the pressure but quickly gets the ball off to none other than Mr. Swift Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs are now at the 44 yard line just on one play that was a gain of over 20 yards and that was a nice throw in a tight window and a great catch by Kelsey it is now 3rd and 9 for the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes has time in the pocket and it is broken up and Kelsey had it in his hand but number 5 Blackman on the Vikings defense breaks the pass up and it is now 4th and 9 right around midfield and this will result in the Chiefs having to punt it back to Kirk Cousins. And here on 2nd and 10. Kirk Cousin felt the pressure and quickly gets it to the hands of Justin Jefferson and it is a first and 10 at the 34 yard line for the Vikings. It is now second and seven for the Minnesota Vikings and Kirk Cousins felt the pressure and hits it out to the flat to the running back Alexander Madison who makes the reception and takes it to the Chiefs 38 yard line. And here on third and nine Kirk Cousin gets the pressure quickly and George Karloftis gets the sack and it'll bring up a 4th and 17 at the 45 yard line and just that loss of yardage right there might kick the Vikings out of field goal range. It is now 3rd and 10 for Patrick Mahomes and the defense and he quickly gets it out to number 19 Kadarius Toney and it is a first down at the 25 for the Chiefs. Let's take a look at the replay as the pressure almost gets to Patrick Mahomes and he fits it into an open pocket of space where only his receiver could get the ball. And here on first and 10, Patrick Mahomes has time in the pocket and has Kelsey going on the out route. And with that reception, the Kansas City Chiefs are now in the red zone at the 16 yard line. That was a gain of already 40 yards right there. Great job by Kelsey and the Chiefs to convert there and get the first down and be in field goal range at the very least. 
And right on the next play, on first and 10, Patrick Mahomes doesn't see any receiver open, so he is going to use his legs to get the first down at the 6-yard line, setting up the Chiefs for a first and goal with a minute 16 left in the half. And here on first and goal, Patrick Mahomes gives it to McKinnon, who takes it to the house and gains six yards on that touchdown attempt. It is now a third and 12 for the Vikings offense, and the pressure gets to Kirk Cousin, making it a fourth and 23. And the Vikings will have to punt the ball back to the Chiefs with a few seconds remaining in the half, 35 seconds left. And Kansas City still has two timeouts. And if we haven't seen in real life, Patrick Mahomes only needs 13 seconds to get to field goal range. And here on third and 10, Patrick Mahomes has a nice clean pocket and gets it out to his receiver, number 11. And they will take it to the 40-yard line as the Chiefs use their second timeout of the half and lead 7 to nothing. And right on the next play, Patrick Mahomes has time in the pocket and hits the right sideline and gets it to Kadarius Toney, but he doesn't step outside, so the Chiefs have to use their last timeout as they are in the red zone at the 16-yard line, setting up for a 1st and 10. But on 1st and 10, Patrick Mahomes quickly feels the pressure and gets sacked, and this will run the clock down to triple zeros, and the Chiefs failed to put up points on this last drive. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs get the ball to start off the half. And on the first play of the first half, Patrick Mahomes throws an interception to number 5 Blackman. Who will give the Vikings very good field possession at the Chiefs 16 yard line. And here on 2nd and 3, Kirk Cousins feels the pressure quickly and only moves back and gets sacked at the 22-yard line, making it a 3rd and 16 for the Vikings. And after getting good field possession, the Vikings have to settle for a field goal attempt, but it gets blocked, and number 35 will pick up the fumble and take it all the way to the house as he skips his way into the end zone. And that was Jalen Watson with the kick block return for over 70 yards and oh man oh man this was not what the vikings had hoped for on this drive and here on first and 10 for the chiefs they stop the vikings offense mahomes rolls to his right and throws a off the foot throw to Kadarius tony and what a throw by patrick mahomes there for that 54 yard touchdown and oh my goodness, did the pressure almost get to Mahomes. And what a great arm he has. Because that strength was incredible to throw it that far. And to get it to his receiver in the end zone. And here on first and 10, Kirk Cousin, play action pass, feels the pressure right there. And he had no time to react. And this will bring up a second and 19 as Chris Jones gets another sack in this game. It is now 3rd and 19 for the Vikings and the pressure once again gets to Kirk Cousin who gets tackled at the 2 and just in this game Chris Jones has 4 sacks and not the best way that the Vikings would have been going as they move backwards all throughout this drive. It is now 2nd and 9 for the Kansas City Chiefs and Mahomes has time and open receiver down the middle of the field. And he gets it to number 11, MVS Marquez Valdez Scantley. And the Chiefs are now in the red zone at the 16-yard line. It is now 3rd and 6 for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And he has a lot of time in the pocket and is working the left sideline. And he gets it to none other than the Swifty, Travis Kelsey, for the touchdown. And now the Kansas City Chiefs take a 28 to nothing lead over the Vikings here in the third quarter and here we got the last play of the game with four seconds left and Kirk Cousin gets it out to the flat as the clock strikes zero and the Kansas City Chiefs defeat the Minnesota Vikings 28 to nothing let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game and what do you guys think the score will be if you like this type of content like and subscribe it 
really helps the channel out. And if you like the NFL and college football, we'll be covering it all season long. Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.